is Michelle and I. This is the astrological update for August for Virgo. Now, Virgo, we kick off this month with a full moon. And this full moon is in your sixth house, so a very familiar place for you. You may notice that emotionally you're feeling some very familiar feelings. You may be, this dog is looking at the cat. Do not jump off the lap. Darling, do not eat the cat. Anyway, you may be feeling a heightened sense of your emotions. You might be feeling on the one hand, whatever your shadow side is. So if you're self-critical or if you hold back or if you're judgmental, which is can be the shadow side of Virgo, or if you're too you know, hard on yourself or you become too obsessed with something like cleaning or, or health or even untidiness, you know, it is a myth. That, that all Virgos are very clean. It can be that Virgos get addicted to untidiness. So whatever way you put your extreme view, you know, it might come up with this full moon. You might decide to withhold your emotion or you might feel that someone is withholding their emotion. But the joy of this is that also, if you allow yourself, you could be the best and have the most fabulous experience of being you on the full moon. You can, let, let us not forget that Mercury rules you, so you can be very articulate on this full moon. You might suddenly find yourself communicating in a way that you haven't for years. You might find yourself impressing people with the way that you communicate and making people laugh and really allowing yourself to open up to a brand new emotional way of being. So it's up to you how you want to experience this full on energy, but it's definitely going to touch you. And hopefully it's going to push you through something and shine a light, shine that moonlight into a corner of yourself, whether that's a shadow corner or whether that's your most vibrant part. And it's going to allow you to transform. Now, Mercury, the planet of communication is going direct on the 8th and it's in your 12th house which is quite incredible. Mercury may have dragged you back to some feelings or some sentimentality for the past recently, or it may have made you reflect on your previous spiritual or ideological ways of being and ways of thinking. Now it's going forward. You have the opportunity to speak to other people in quite an enlightened and intuitive way. You're also feeling quite soppy and quite romantic. You might find yourself coming out with romantic gestures that you haven't done before. You might find yourself writing poetry or doing something or writing something that you feel has real inner meaning. Now, Venus, the planet of love, is entering your 11th house on the 8th also. <laughs> I'm laughing because the dog is going too close to the cat. Anyway, Venus is going into your 11th house. So this is great. You're expressing yourself in a brand new way. You're feeling loved up when it, it comes to your friends. And also, if you're networking in any way, if you're communicating with people, they feel that you're a very loving being. They're picking up that good vibe of love that's coming off you. Now, there's a new moon on the 17th, and that's in your 12th house. So in a way, you're stepping through to an awakening, to a new way of being spiritually, to a new way of seeing the world, to being very, very intuitive. Your intuition is going to the next level. Your sense of self is going to the next level. You're seeing the world in a new and open way. You may have dreams or revelations or very important conversations for the whole of this month. Now, Mars, the planet of passion and our, your vital life energy, is going into your third house. And Mars is putting passion into the way that you communicate. If you've got a very solid idea, you're going to go, yeah, this is what I think. And you're able to really put yourself into that. Now, be careful you don't become too argumentative, though, because Mars can be a bit warlike. And there's no need to really shove your ideas because Venus is supporting you. And Neptune is doing something extraordinary this month. It's coming very, very close to Earth. And Neptune is in its own sign Pisces. And this is all about our awakening and what everybody's going on about 2012. This is an incredibly important event that Neptune is in Pisces. And to top it all off, it's coming very close to Earth. It's almost like it's going right now is the time of enlightenment. And for you, it's in your seventh house. It's all about relationships. You're going to have a revelation when it comes to your own relationships. But on top of that, you have the opportunity to express yourself to other people, to show other people or to illustrate this great revelation on how we can all get on better with each other. That's where your enlightenment is coming through your own relationships and your ability to communicate to all of us about relationships. So it's quite profound. Anyway, have a staggeringly good month and I'll speak to you soon.